So I want to ask you, does making a choice and making a decision like this, for example, let's say somebody was pro-life, but after rational decision, after doing some research, they changed their stance to pro-choice. Do choices like this have a consequence? Yeah, 100%. I mean, any choice that you make, uh, especially at like a philosophical fundamental level, like whether you're choosing to go from a pro-life to a pro-choice or vice versa, that has definitely ripple effects on not just yourself and other people. I, I think at the end of the day, you just have to kind of, everybody's functioning according to their own moral compass. And me being a Christian pastor, a Christian uh, a follower of the way, I'm always asking the question of like, what whether my decision, my choices, are they contributing to the greatest possible flourishing of those around me and the flourishing of myself and the people uh, that are closest to me and also people who are not necessarily who don't believe in what I believe. So when I'm choosing my life philosophy, I'm asking that question. Like I'm asking like, what is the set? What's the life's operating system that I can choose that I can follow that's going to make me the greatest lover of people outside of who I am? And so that's kind of the North Star for me when it comes to these these core questions. And yeah, choices have consequences. And if we are willing to live in a democracy, we also have to let go of the belief that people are no more than the sum of their choices, that, that there's more to their reality than the sum of their actions, whether good or bad. And that's what we believe in Christian theology. Mm-hmm.